Hey guys, welcome to Paint a Palooza. Uh, we go live on Tuesdays sometime between like nine and noon and we paint all of our thrift store finds. We've if, got a lot. If you're wanting to buy anything, it's at jamierayvintage.com. Kaylin is on here, she will drop links and we're just gonna be thrift flipping and making over home decor and getting all of our to-do list done. So come on to say hi, tell us where you're from, all of the good things and I will- Pull back a little bit, that way you guys can see more. All right, I gotta right. get this. I'm gonna glue this right off the bat. Not that or that, but this. Um, it was already had this chip by the time we got it home. This whole thing had lifted off. And I, I debated on what kind of glues to use because this is kind of earthy, like clay pot. Kathleen's on here. Hey, um, Kathleen, she, she's on Facebook. Kathleen, if you're on Facebook and you want to hit that share button, I'd be like 452 times grateful, so. 452. 452 times because we're still working on growing our little Facebook, our little baby page. Hopefully we get our big page back eventually, but oh, Vicky's on here so too. So this is just uh, super glue. It's serious super glue. Super glue is serious business. I like the gel glue for a lot of things though. Hopefully this works for that. It will. Um, it adheres pretty well to itself. Like, like this thing sits in there pretty good it lines up real nice we'll have to do a little bit of salt wash work and i am um just painting this in white swan this is essentially like an old ceiling tile even though it's new uh, thanks for thanks for sharing kathleen i appreciate that and carolyn says she beat leslie today there was not a text sent out we actually used up all of our text credits with our text company so i apologize it's in a new advance month don't we that. have new text credits i don't know caitlin's gonna talk to him uh, but we do have 125 people on here between Facebook and YouTube. So yay, we're excited. Or did we use up all our text credits for the year? Uh, no, not for the year. Not for the year. Carolyn says, LOL. All right. So I like to paint these up with a solid color and then wet distress them. So I'm just trying to get in all the detail. Once I get this detail painted, I'm going to paint this all in one direction to make it look a little bit neater. And then I'll set it aside and we have a drop cloth behind us. So that way we can dry things and just keep on painting. So what did you do today while I was gone this morning? Um, so I, I cleaned up, I, I milked the cow, yes. collected all the eggs, processed the milk, cleaned the milking machine. Did some dishes. Made, did the dishes, made Redrick uh, sweep the floor. He was not excited about that, but he had an hour to kill and he was just watching TV. So I had him do his chore. He is at that stage where he's not really excited about anything. <laughs> the only thing he gets excited about is playing basketball with his buddy. Um, and then, uh, then I did payroll. I went and got all the paint we're going to need for today. And I swept... It doesn't look that great because it was like kind of wet and muddy, but I swept the sidewalk where I had made a mess. Most of the sprinkler line is buried at the shop now. You cannot fall in the hole anymore, but it's still all mounded up. We got to go rake it flat and either get some sod or throw some seed on it. When you said it. you swept, I thought maybe you finally swept the sheep poop off where the chicken poop. I did that the other day. They've already added to it. Because when you, if you look, if you go to our shop and you look out the window, all you're going to see is we got to figure it. out some sort of like shade slash pergola arena. We want to put like a little chicken playhouse, little chicken arena back there. We so want to do they like a little balance beam and some swings. That's on the list, but that's probably going to be a minute because they're not getting a chicken playhouse till I get a patio. Okay, so that is done. We're going to let that glue set for a good hot minute. If you've been to these paint paloozas before, they go long. They're a long live stream video. So we're going to be on here for a minute. So if you got to duck out and come back or yeah, we're just here watch later, out. you know, whatever you need to do. Paint some old junk. I was actually, so the reason why I was asking Deb what he did, because I went and got foot zone this morning. If you don't know what foot zoning is, your feet, it's kind of like reflexology, only it's using energy. And each part of your foot correlates with your body. And my friend Tanya is the best foot zoner around. And I used to see her all the time. And I think I just got really busy with life and kind of got we away We were doing the shop. Anytime we start like a construction project, you're like too tired to wake up in the morning and do anything else. Well, and then COVID happened. Then my parents moved in with us. But I've decided that I'm going to start doing it for me because I really do feel better when I do it. And my health is in the toilet. Like my thyroid sucks and my iron's low. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do it. So that's where I was this morning, visiting with Tanya, getting my foot zoned. 
she also is really like empathetic like she feels people so it's also like a therapy session so i'm all kinds of fixed today <laughs> emotionally spiritually physically i'm feeling good thank you caitlin well she you've known tanya since you were a teenager Yes, I've known she Tanya lived, for many, she many lived, years. She went to the same ward building, the same church as us in Arizona when we were kids. Yeah. <laughs> She's my little, I call her my little hippie friend. She's like, have you tried wheatgrass? And I was like, listen, Linda, I did. It's disgusting. I did tell her the, the <laughs> iron that I'm taking that I get off of Amazon. She said, that's the next best thing. I said, that's as good as we're going to get because I'm not drinking wheatgrass. It's disgusting. All right. Um, what about a shade near the pool? Yeah, so that's the plan. Um, we're looking at doing a patio pergola situation. It's very much needed. We have two big uh, table slash umbrella situations out there, yeah, but they don't they don't cut the mustard. I may I may do with what we what I could do on my own, and so there is some stuff out there, but I really want a cover. Here's patio. the real push. Jamie's mom, now that the weather is better, is she wants dying it. to go outside, but she doesn't like the backyard. That she doesn't think it looks very good right now. So and, she wants, and it. she's not wrong. It doesn't look very good. And I'm like, well, I got time to do that about September, and she's like, well, it'll be cold and getting cooling off again by September. So she's really pushing to. Uh, get that done and we don't She's, we don't do all she doesn't ask for very much so you know it might be bumped up on the list but when she does ask it's insistent and she's 83 years old she's like listen i don't know how many more summers i have and i'm like well way to lay it on thick <laughs> so we're gonna that's the next project once we get done with irrigation zeb's almost done with the front we have to have to get the garden in and going so that has to happen. And then my plan is when that's done, the next big project will be the patio and then we'll start the cottage. That's in my mind. That's the sequence of events. Well, I don't know the, if Zeb's mind is the same, but. The patio should not actually be that hard. It's a pergola. So it's just cutting wood and putting it together. It's not like a major construction with like walls and yeah. plaster and sheetrock and drywall and all and electrical and all those things. Like it's just putting up wood and done. eventually we'd like to do an outdoor kitchen but like this summer the only thing we're going to do in the backyard is the patio what finish did you want on this it's yours you bought it yo i wasn't going to paint it at all oh. and you said in the listing we were so well it's just because it's got this weird like yeah it's got some i'm gonna whitewash it i would just paint it white and then distress it i already I'm, have I'm white gonna, out i'm gonna whitewash it you do you boo there yeah. you go <laughs> Renee said, that's mom. Yep, she likes what she likes. And, and that's fine. She's like, I'll buy the lumber if you do the labor. I'm like, okay. Now I got to get my laborer going. I'm just the handy assistant. The laborer already has 20 other projects for this summer. <laughs> the next big thing is... They definitely have like a priority though, like critical. And if we get to that next year, it'll be okay kind of thing. We, have, we won't share it yet, but we are going to be working on another uh, adventure. Yeah, you could call it that. Um, if you guys know, last summer we bought some land. And I think we're probably just going to hold on to that and not do much with it. Um, but We have some ideas for it, though, to improve it quickly and maybe flip it. Yeah. And then we're looking at some other stuff. So there you go. I'm not going to give all the details away. But... That's what we're going to be working on. It'll this come afternoon. out eventually. She'll just be talking and it'll come out. You know us. We're always working on our next project. So I'm just sanding this because it's got like some painting on there. And I don't want the texture to come through. I'm not going to sand all the splatters off because ain't nobody got time for that. 2028 or 2029? 2029 is when all the projects around this house are going to get done. For Mother's Day, I just want... There's this piece of trim that needs to be put in. Hey, I called to the front porch again for you and put up the street, the, the house numbers that have been down for like a year. Not where I wanted them, but they're up. They're where they needed to be. <laughs> Says who? Says the guy that put them up. <laughs> and the girl is like, fine, at least DoorDash can find my house now. And Amazon. It was a problem. <laughs> Sometimes your DoorDash stuff went to the neighbors. And... Be like ten o'clock at night. Unless you like, think I'm fancy, sometimes I DoorDash medication from Walgreens or uh, the dog's dog food. And sometimes it's ten o'clock at night, and she's like, "I want a crumble cookie." Shh. <laughs> Listen, Linda. 
You got to have some. She's like, I got all this milk and no cookies. B and B the cottage, yeah. So that is actually happening. That's, we are that's gonna on air. the priority list for this year. Yeah, as far as like construction projects go, the cottage is getting renovated because we are going to hopefully have it rent. I want it to be rentable by August because I got to pay for college. That may mean that we have to hire things out. What to tell you about that? That it's not a thing. So yesterday, Zeb's working on the irrigation, and there's just been lots of late nights where I'm at home editing videos, taking care of the other part of business while he's taking care of that business. The only thing is my business involves also dealing with children. And I'm like, listen. I told you, you could leave them here, let the Hunger Games commence, and you could come just hang out and watch me work on the tractor. So I told didn't him. like that answer. I said, <laughs> we have got to come up with a solution where if you're working on a project like that, there's like a quit in time. He yeah, didn't. dark. We're still we're still at an impasse. <laughs> well, yesterday the other was day, particular. Zeb said something about 40 acres. How do we already talk about 40 acres? Okay, well, we're looking at 40 acres. I, there, I that's think... out of the bag, Denise. We must have. Denise brought it up, and Denise isn't like on my private text chat so it just popped up we didn't actually we went and looked at it but you, it's a you brought a bunch of paint it's a long it's a long way down the road still if we can get it yeah it, it's a long stretch i think i'm gonna paint that tote pink. i brought all kinds of paint all neutrals no well, color i didn't bring any color today sorry i have pink oh i did bring you some pink. oh and caitlin is bringing us back we are doing a Mother's Day sale, 20% um, off home decor thrift haul and the antique collection in the shop and online. Goes no until code next necessary. Tuesday. You can just check out. It'll take it off the checkout for you. Yep. So if you want any of these thrift haul items, anything that's listed, any of our English finds are going to be on there because they're also in the thrift haul. So I thought they were home decor. Whatever. Go to thrift haul, go to home decor, go to antique. It's all 20% off. But that's that's exciting because you know it, that stuff doesn't the the English stuff doesn't usually go on sale. I usually don't discount my labor, which is what most of the thrift haul is. <laughs> yeah, we I don't think we marked it down since Black Friday. So, anyways, that's gonna last till next Tuesday, uh, with Mother's Day coming up. I just totally yesterday remembered Mother's Day was coming up. It's like we we gotta do a sale, and <clears throat> if it's not your kids, you could treat yourself. So apparently, since we've already talked about it, I don't remember when. But it happened. Sue says 40 acres cleaning person for the house. I haven't got my Facebook page yet, but but I did get on chat yesterday. Listen, when we buy things, especially property, it's usually like bargain basement deals. This is on the oh, side of a mountain, 40 it's acres. A big, it's a Jamie did effort. not even hike up to two of the points, the uh, corners of the property Sunday with is a Jack day and I. Of rest, okay? And I wasn't about to start sweating. Can you pass me that brush over there? Yes. She was like, we were halfway up the hill, and she's like, I'm just going to wait here for you. And then we got three quarters of the way up the hill, and Jack, with his little young eight-year-old legs, uh, and he's in football condition right now, mind you. He's been playing football and pretty tough. He's like, Dad, Dad, we need to slow down. I got to rest. I'm like, don't let the old man outpace you here, buddy. Come on. I made him keep walking. He was fine. He was fine. All right. Well, I'm painting this petticoat pink. I don't know where I'm going with it, but I just decided I needed a little pink in my life and I haven't painted anything pink in a while. So I always like to paint the inside first because it is a nightmare to paint the outside then the inside. I still get paint all over me, but Diana says, I hear you no reason to exert. Although I do need to get in better condition because we're taking Odelia to Hawaii for graduation. Which usually involves lots of hiking to waterfalls. <laughs> and Mama's out of shape, so. Well, we didn't take our trip to Europe like we usually do in the spring. That sounds bougie, but it's for work. I mean, it is fun, but we do a lot of shopping. We're going to go to Europe probably this October. Fall. It's looking like October. That's the plan. We got to go before playoffs because I'm expecting the boys to be good. Our high school is going from 5A to 6A. We won state football two years in a row at 5A. But we beat some really tough 6A teams as a 5A school in our regular schedule. And we're going 6A this next year because the school, like the class coming in is so big 
because Lehigh has grown so much that it's bumping them up to a 6A school. Can we paint and salt wash cardboard? Um, yeah, it could curl on you. So when it's dry, you might have to put something heavy. I would do paint both sides. That helps it from over curling too much. And then Vicky Zach wanted to know what we would do with a 50s or 60s salt box. I'd have to see a picture. Send us, e email us a picture, Vicky, and I could let you know, because I actually don't really know off the top of my head exactly what it is. To me, salt box is one of those little boxes this big for salt. Is that what you're talking about? Or is it something bigger like what you put meat in? I don't know. Amber says, I'm glad we aren't the only ones that have a, oh, we have a full list of projects. I did tell them last night. I'm like, if the project requires that we are gone too much, it's just not going to happen. We, it was one thing when we built this house, but I am not, I still have PTSD from the amount of work that took to remodel and build this house. I feel like the kids still have PTSD from that. So we're, we got to pace ourselves. I mean, I've already, I've already priced out a bulldozer for land I don't own yet. <laughs> Uh, it's a it's a constant balance because it needs I, a road. <laughs> I have ADHD. Zeb is a Ray, and his dad is forever a dreamer, always doing a project. So I don't want to like hamper that because it's important to follow your dreams, but you also have to be realistic. So hey, I think I, I just think even if we did nothing with it, it'd be fun to have the property and maybe make sure there's a road and have like a family reunion spot and like improve it over the next 10 years. I showed Debbie Beard a video from the high point on the property and the views are like some of the best in, in Utah. Zeb, when do you sleep? He sleeps every night from about 11 to seven. Uh, midnight-ish midnight midnight to, to seven, sometimes one, depending on what's going on. You know, what project needed them. Oh, you took my screwdriver. Or if I've been looking for this all if over. If he's writing in his book. I do write when I can't sleep, I write. <clears throat> Sometimes you got to just like stop working and do something creative. Yeah. And I told him he needs to stop working at 5.30. <laughs> that was the conversation yesterday. <laughs> I was like, I am not going to sit over here. I'm like, listen, it's summertime. I got 18 hours a day left. I'm not going to sit over here and deal with children and work and make sure that the animals are taken care of here. So you got to come home. It's hard to turn it off when you love to work. Like, like. <clears throat> the uh, the sprinklers have been wearing me out. They've been a big project, uh, but I'm super excited to see the yard come together and to get the shop looking really cool. Because right now it looks like it's been a long winter and about 3,000 gophers live there. That yard looks like my body. It's been a long, hard winter. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like I'm not going to comment. That's probably the best bet there. All right. I'm just making sure. I mean, I don't have even my business. chuckle was a little risky. A little risky business. Okay. Petticoat pink painted. I'm just going to push this out of the way. What else should I paint pink? Delia says, we did a total remodel of our house and my husband wants to do our bathroom. And I say, no way, Jose. I like projects. I also just like downtime. Like we have a pool. There's a reason because I like to swim and I like to hang out and have a cold beverage. I mean, we've already remodeled one of the bathrooms here. What? The we, kids' bathroom. Yeah, that is true. Okay, we're not, this is not getting painted. Lived here two years, already did a bathroom remodel. Were you going to drill a hole in, oops, in those lids? Um, I didn't get knobs. I forgot about those. Oh, okay. So I don't know if can we you can just drill a hole. We'll find a knob. Finish those. My question is, if you drill a hole, is this whole sucker going to crack in half? I guess if it does, we'll just glue it back together. Maybe if I heat gun. This has got some hot glue in it. I need to put some soap on these. They're, they're a situation. I don't know why this has hot glue on it because it was screwed in, but it does. All I want is the mirror out so I can paint it up cool. Oh, the pool cover got fixed yesterday, so that's good. I don't yeah, have to clean it. Yeah, we did hire that out. I'm, yeah, I hired Two some... words, child labor. Don't you worry. The kids... The kids do the work. The kids help a lot. Eliza is actually... Uh, she's coming. excited about the garden. She's coming... Well, she's also excited. She's... We told her we would get her a pair of fairly expensive overalls if she milked Buttercup while we were gone with Odilia on Odilia's senior trip. And she has agreed to do that. 
she's a little nervous around Buttercup because she's worried she's going to get stepped on. And I'm going to have to teach her the art of proper footwear. And also, if you're nervous, she knows you're nervous and she'll take control and walk all over you. Not literally walk all over you, but go where she wants to go, so to speak. She when when because we have to go from where we keep Buttercup, we have to get to the barn where I milk her through the chicken and sheep pen, and her and Chewy got a thing going on. Chewy thinks he's tough stuff, and he always tries to head butter, and so they get a little wrestling match back and forth going, and she sends him flying. He loves it. He comes right back, and I'm like, come on, let's just get into the barn. I gotta milk you. <laughs> Well, it's because Han won't play anymore. Han's overweight and just not about that life. Chewie has always been way more energetic. I think Ch I think Han might have a thyroid problem. I think he does. He's because Chewie eats way more than him. But yeah, Han is Chewie, definitely better. Han just doesn't move much. I don't know what his deal is. And Chewie is, will eat anything. And Han, you bring like extra treats in the pen, and he's like, ah. In case you don't know, Han and Chewie are sheep. Patricia says Chewy has a Napoleonic complex. Probably. <laughs> Probably. Darn sheep. But anyway, it's it's a thing every morning when I milk the cow. Because Chewy probably weighs, he might be pushing 150 pounds because the, the baby doll sheep are small sheep. But Buttercup's like a solid, probably 800, 850 right now. She's pregnant. She's a little <laughs> wide lady. Um, well, yeah, it's it's just a situation over there with those animals and Chewy and Han. And they just got sheared. Well, I mean, it was about a month ago. But the, gal that, the guy that shears our sheep was like, these are the fattest baby doll sheep I have ever seen. Like, well, they're well fed. What can I say? All right, on to the painting. I'm going to give this, I think, I don't actually, someone painted this gray and white, and then they scraped it off. Um, I think what I'm going to do is play off of that and go with another neutral. I did bring some sandy blonde. I know how much you guys have been loving that. I have also been loving it. I'm going to see what that does. I accidentally used fusion paint on my Klingon brush and stored it, but I guess there was air. And now I need advice. Oh, it's stuck on there. Um, you could try a so, downy dunk. Yeah. That might soften it up enough. The problem is that fusion has like a built-in top coat, much like our cottage color. So what you're going to need to do is soak it in some downy or like fabric softener and see if that'll soften it and then give it a good scrub. If, if it was going to release off of anything, it would definitely release off of the Klingon. So I think you probably aren't completely out of luck. Just check it out. You might also reach out to whoever you purchased the paint from, and they might have. I personally don't use Fusion, so I just don't know. But I would, if I was trying to get cottage color off of a brush, that's what I would do. So hopefully that's helpful. I love watching your sheep. I think they need more airtime. They're not. They're not about that life anymore. They're. They're just... They mostly just lay around. They have plenty of room. They have a ton of room to move. We're actually looking to find them a new home because Buttercup's pregnant and there's a limit to the amount of livestock we can have. Yes. That, here so, was coming the sad news. I was about to tell you what Jamie just told you. They're about to find a new home. So if you know anybody would like to, baby doll sheep, we've got them. Well, Odelia's seminary teacher is supposed to call me today. Yeah. She, he says that... He wants them. They so. want them. So We'll see. So while the sheep are very cute, the cow takes precedence because she actually gives us milk. We thought we would use their wool, but it is so much effort to card and clean wool. Uh, and it's honestly like worth almost nothing. Like it's not worth anything. You can buy it pretty cheap. Um, like on Etsy and things. And We're I was also just like, probably looking eh. to get rid of about six laying hens. So. Yeah, we got to we got to downsize on the animals. Yeah. Jamie got out of control with the chickens last year. Uh, it's fun though. When someone tells me that there's going to be a food shortage, I'm not about that life. So I will definitely make sure that I am fed, and that I have enough that should I need to feed other people, I could also care for them. So that's where we're at. All right, I want to do some salt wash on this. I think I'm going to brush it because it's not a very big, wide, flat surface. Mm, we'll pour. 
you're going to pour. I was going to dip because I didn't want to get this lip all dirty right off the bat, but I'm like, it's inevitable. It's going to happen anyway, so might as well just I think pour. this is the last thing I'm going to paint pink. And I'm going to need to pull another color out of the arsenal. I brought, well, so we have aviary. There's some apothecary. We got a little bit of French millinery. Um, trying to think if we got any other colors over there. Oh, that got, that's too thick. You should measure. Right for for the correct. We should results. measure for all the things. Do we measure? We don't measure for anything. Too too lazy to measure. All right. That's better. That's a better consistency. Still super thick, but not like dry and crusty. Besides crafting supplies, what sells best in your shop? Um, our the thrift hall stuff, probably. Thrift hall stuff. We lots sell of, a lot lots of, of French clothing. soap, candles, everything, really. It just There's depends on who comes stuff. in. I feel like it's good to have, you have, need to have a variety. I just, my like secret is I buy all the things I love that I can't readily find anywhere else. And I just hope that other people come in and they're like, hey, I've been looking for that. And that's kind of how that works. Because people be like, I love your shop because there's things that I can't find other places. So I carry all kinds of things. We have face wash. We have uh, soak. We have um, like super clean dish soap that we make. We have uh, Beeswax seeds. Beeswax candles. We carry heirloom seeds in the shop. We carry candles. We carry just all my favorite things. And I just care. Why? If I can't find them, why not carry them? Or if I can find them, but we're gonna they're not have exactly to switch it from like Jamie Ray vintage to Jamie Ray mercantile. So yeah, I have a lot of things that I like. <laughs> so I because we also carry fabric. I say yeah, I carry grain sack fabric because it's not something you can find everywhere. So it's a little bit of work. You have to figure out where to source all the things for, but that's part of the job. All right, what am I going to paint next? This is your clock, so I'm going to move this over to the Zeb side. Oh, I'm ready for it. I'm going to actually have, I forgot about that. I'm going to mix up <clears throat> some more Sandy Blonde, and then okay. we'll go from there. We'll take it from there. Um, this is your clock. I have, all, I have like three clocks this week. You got a lot of clocks. I actually passed on a couple clocks at the thrift store. This is also your clock. Do you know what time it is? <laughs> it's clock time. <laughs> All nice. right, so that's some good buildup with the salt wash. Um, it's a really nice texture medium that doesn't change the adhesion or the color properties of your paint. This is my clock. Do you have a little screwdriver? I have the little Phillips, yeah. If you see me itching my nose a lot, like hay fever season has hit here in Utah and all the trees and everything is blossoming out and my allergies are going. He refuses to take an antihistamine. Because I haven't, I, I needed to build it up like three weeks ago and I haven't done it. So it won't really do me any good. And by the time it does, I'll be over it. I don't sneeze all we'll summer see. long. I got my mom going on Claritin. Okay. One thing you two are not is lazy. Well, our idea of lazy, sometimes there's just things we don't do. Like people are like, how do you do it all? I'm like, I'll tell you what we, I don't do. You take don't, shortcuts and you don't go find the church key. You just pop your can open with the screwdriver. You have I don't make head. my bed. I don't <laughs> clean my, my house is no longer as clean as it used to be, which is why if we get Facebook back, I'm like, I've got to get a housekeeper. It's not because I'm too lazy to clean my house. It's because I can do other things and I do other things instead of cleaning. So I need, it's getting bad again. All right, so you can't really see the texture super well on this yet. It does have a ton. I just brushed it on there nice and thick instead of stippling it or blading it on. I've been doing a lot of blading, and I do have the blade out. We might get to that. Um, okay, there you can kind of uh -huh. see the texture. Oh, been on half an hour already. Okay, Story I'm going to go grab. Story time. Oh, it looks like somebody Please already got one lie. of the sale items because that's a weird yeah, Carol just bought herself the cake plate with the clear dome out of the Thrift Hall collection. Nice. Okay, I'm going to get a transfer that I'm going to cover up this with, and then once I put the transfer on, then I can make a decision what to paint the clock. Okay. And that's a good idea? Yeah. I mean, you're my husband, so I have to get your opinion. 
do you? <laughs> <clears throat> All right, I'm going to put these screws right here. I'm always losing little tiny screws. It's, it's not a good thing. You got to keep them separate. We have a lot of tiny screws today because we got four clocks we're working on and a mirror that had screws on it. So trying to get paint cut finishes on and then we'll work on the uh, final finishes like waxing and things. Um, but the texture on that clock, that's going to, once we wax that, it'll really pop out and you guys will I'll show you. I actually should go set that outside. It is a nice, warm little bit of breeze going. It's going to be 78 today which means it'll actually probably be like 84. <laughs> Renee's on singular for her allergies. I don't really have a ton of allergies. Mine aren't bad. I just sneeze a lot and then I get congestion and then that turns into a sinus infection if I can't and you dry get up. migraine. All right, I just got to find something that'll cover this. I kind of like this one, but I don't know if I'll cover the whole thing. Let's see might work so i'm using an iod transfer i should probably tell you what i'm doing this is ephemeral melange you know i love me a good ephemeral melange so many little elements um is why i like it so i just need to find something that's going to cover this up and then i will match my paint finish to the element that i choose um you should get one of those magnetic dishes that mechanics use to keep the screws oh, in. That have, would be smart. I actually have one in the Like garage. we are from a family of mechanics. In fact, we if you watched yesterday's video, and if you haven't, you should check it out. We went thrifting, we did a thrift flip, and we showed you the magazine that we were just featured in all in one video. But we bought a carburetor mug for Zeb's brother because he's a mechanic. We're going to get him a gift card. He just had a birthday. Did he How did he turn 40? Or he he turn? turned 39. 39. Okay. The last year... He's in his 40th year of life, is how you'd say that. So, let's see. This one, I got to make sure it covers everything. Oops. And I'm excited because he likes to tell me how old I am. And I will always be like two, two years and five months older than Ty. But, you know, when you're both pretty much 40 together... <laughs> it's the same thing. The gap right. is really getting pretty narrow. This had like a, there's no place like home or something, which is great, but not my favorite. Words are kind of headed out and signage and old labels are headed in. So I'm covering that up with a transfer. You can kind of see it, but not really. So there we go. We've got our IOD transfer on here. And so I think I'm just going to go ahead and paint this apothecary you can kind of see the words behind it but it's kind of a fun effect Let's oh my it. goodness both so sets i gotta of show screws. this to you. oh no Wait. i like it and you can't really see the words i know the Careful. people of youtube and facebook know but all right next step let's paint this so i'm going to do an apothecary because i think that's going to match that little transfer i put on it all right, so 82 screws later. Someone's already pulled this apart. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to get you a little cup. Here you go. In reality, I only need about eight of these screws, not 82 of them, because honestly, well, you can, like, oh, I feel like it's overkill. They got too many on here. Should we tell everybody what's happening tonight that's very exciting? Yeah, I'll let you tell them, because I feel like you're more excited about it than I'm me. I'm super excited. He's like my... <laughs> my second uh my second kid for the last nine months so he has excited. spent a lot of time over here you know we've got a pretty cute daughter that he's pretty interested in yeah i mean we're friends but really he's here for adelia um mr cooper is getting not miss his name is not mr cooper his name is cooper cooper is getting his mission call for where he's going to be serving for our church for the next two years we find out tonight so super excited about that he put in his papers a couple weeks ago, and we've just been waiting for the email. So we'll find out where he's going to go for the next couple of years. He put his availability in August. That doesn't mean that's when he's going to leave, but he won't leave any earlier than August. So we're excited about that. Yeah, he's got to graduate high school first. But usually they give the calls out, and then you leave two to three months later. How do you learn about what's coming in style? So I read magazines and I see trends 
on Pinterest. And I just follow along there, I guess. And certain areas will, like, certain, I feel like it's good not to just follow what's going on in our country, but like I follow trends in England and France and all over the place. And yeah, that's, I guess, I don't know, you just know. There's not like a style catalog that you just read up. But when you're in the business, you also can see, like, I see ahead because I order wholesale. I see what the wholesalers are coming out with a year in advance. So I know kind of where the, and they kind of follow what trendsetters are bringing in. Yeah, they create their products based off of like what's popular and what's selling. And, and also, I still don't care. I do what I do. People keep saying, oh, is distressed country going out? And I'm like, I have loved cottage country style for, oops, I just whacked myself in the face. For years, my sister Renee's on here. She can attest to the fact that I have been painting furniture and distressing it all of my married life, which is almost 22 years. It'll be 22 years we've been married this summer. Yep. And, um, and I still love it. And when we go and we travel, I still love that style and I see it everywhere. So I, I'm going to continue to do what I want. So really, if you like something, it doesn't matter. You do you. My favorite thing is honestly when we go to Europe and see how they're like all the Airbnbs, with the exception of that really modern one we stayed in for a couple they're of days in cottage. France. They're like really kind of cozy cottage, lots of antiques in them. Um, the buildings themselves are like three, 400 years old. It's, it's just a, a really fun feel and comfortable. Um, and these are the Airbnbs that are getting rented out. Like you look at them and they're like, they, they're like super hosts and got five star ratings and all this stuff. And everybody's like, Oh, I love it. It's so cute. One place we stayed had like a sheep rescue net right next to them. The gal had like 15 sheep that had various issues sheeps. that she that she keeps <laughs> she keeps sheep and the the um airbnb had a sheep theme to it renee i am not going live but cooper's mom will be going live um if i get there early enough i will see if i can get a friend request sent to you because they're i mean they're not like us where they broadcast their whole life so but i don't think she'd mind if you were I don't think in. he'll also mind if we tell you where he's going yeah later. we'll tell everybody where he's going to i'll share it in stories He texted me this morning while I was getting zoned to tell me that he was opening his mission call tonight. Well, they sent him an email now. When I got mine, it went, I was working in Prescott and it went, the letter came to my mom in Arizona. So I had to like wait until the weekend to drive down there. And then I was like, mom, just read it. Just read it and tell me. I was at work when she called me. Did she do that? <laughs> yes. She read it and told me. <laughs> Because I we didn't do any big grand opening or anything. Yeah, like well, that. everything's big. It's like an event too. these days, and yeah. and when I went, there was no social media. It was it was what like two thousand one. no, you got your call in two thousand. Two thousand. Fall of yeah. two thousand. Two thousand. I can't. It's been long enough. I don't remember all the times. <laughs> it's, um, been, it's been too many years. Anyway, ago. now. I was, I was like, I'm working. Just tell me, mom. <laughs> I don't want to be like antsy and thinking about it for four days while I wait to drive down to Tucson. My but neither you nor I my, like to wait. My for parents stuff. lived in Tucson. They moved November of my senior year, October of my senior year. And I was already, I was like a week away from 18, being 18. And I was like, I'm going to stay and finish high school here. I'm not moving to Tucson. He also was dating this very cute girl. We had just actually barely started dating. I know, but you were very serious very quickly. But also, I wasn't moving. Not so you weren't moving. That's true. Anyway, so, but but I left from, from Tucson is where I left from. And Rashonda says, of course no social media, Zeb, since you're old according to your brother. Can oh, I... Cooper's on here. He says, I was very excited when... She... Shaking super bad all through second period. My heart rate is still super high. Do we need to get you some ashwagandha, Cooper? You come over for lunch. All right. I need. You know, a lot of missionaries have been going to uh, South America and Africa countries. And Peru. Well, that's in South America. Cooper probably doesn't want to hear this, but I hope he goes somewhere very boring and safe. <laughs>
Cooper, I think, wants to go to England. You got to have correct. you got to have no preconceptions because you'll go like complete opposite of where you think you're going to go. His, his, yeah, but I know he wants to go to England. So, but he did graduate seminary, so that that certificate is viewed by most countries as a. Uh, they, they'll, they'll, they'll allow him to proselyte because he's graduated seminary. Whereas some countries you have to have like a special certificate to proselyte, um, which I did not graduate seminary. I know, shocker. Me neither. Uh, and I went to Connecticut because the United States doesn't care. <laughs> How late am I, Aunt B? We've been on just for about 40 minutes. Um, Vicky says, I heard the whole story this morning about your love connection. Did you watch our video about how we met? When Zeb met Jamie or when Jamie met Zeb, whatever that video it's, is. It's when Jamie. When Jamie met Zeb. All right. Got some good fat texture on there. Yeah, we've been but we've been together 20. Uh, we've been I was, a couple for 20 years. I was still 17 when we started dating. Yeah, if you see the little ring I wear on this hand, he gave it to me for our first Valentine's Day. I'm actually surprised it still fits. It must have been a little big <clears throat> back then. It's just real thin, so, you know, it slides over stuff. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, I am using this. Which one is this? Classic Elements? Yeah. Do you have okay. the clay out and glue? I need that. Well, I am ready, but you can't have the glue just yet. Okay. I'm just going to add a mold to the front of this urn. All right. So the top was cracked off. I've super glued it. It's plenty sturdy now, but it does have this. This is past a flea bite. This is a big chip. Um, so I'm going to repair that now. And this is decoupaged on here. Someone decoupaged a map on this. I think somebody like at the manufacturer did, or mm. do you think they did it? No, afterwards? it's definitely manufactured. Okay. So I've got my little mold here. I'm just going to glue it on here. Keep that from rolling around. Renee has a missionary... Um, in Yuma from West Jordan. Oh, nice. That's just down the street from us here. He probably thinks it's already so hot. He's probably dying. It's probably, <laughs> what are, what's the temperature there today, Renee? 97, they've been, 98? No, they've been, I thought they've been cooler, but maybe they've gotten warm again. I don't know. All right, let me borrow your glue. You want to use lots of glue. I'm using wood glue on this mold. You can also use like E6000 or construction adhesive. And then I'm going to go set this out in the sun to dry. Cooper, you might want to come over here for lunch because we're actually going to be live till one and then you got to go back to school. Although I don't know if you have a fourth period. And then we got business coaching. And then we got to talk to a realtor about some land. <laughs> it's got a very busy day here. I mean, not to overshadow your mission call, but I'm pretty excited about talking to the realtor. <laughs> it's a busy day, man. All right, this is going outside, and I'll paint some other stuff. In other news, I'm having a cube tournament. You guys know that the wood blocks that you throw, like the yard yard game, uh, with the young men tonight, and I uh, fully anticipate to crush all of their hopes and dreams. We're having a little tournament with the 16-year-old to 18-year-old young men. Hi from the UK. Not sure what religion you are. So we are, oh, Cooper's done with school today. All right. Well, you can come over whenever. Um, we, it's a long name. It's the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Most people know us as the Mormons. So there you go. Um, I'm, if you're from the UK, there's a high chance you've seen the elders walking around in the sister missionaries. True story. All right, this is another urn. This one's not going to get a mold because it's already got so much detail. That other one was kind of boring. I got to get that wet a little bit and mold that. I guess I could have painted this white. It's 70 degrees in Yuma right now. That's perfect. Hey, that's like same temperature as here. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I thought they had similar weather tests. We have like a heat wave or whatever they called it, the barometric pressure. Yeah. All right, so I got that wet a little bit to help me mold it because it was a little dry and it was trying trying to like flake. So I almost made I just got my fingers wet and it's almost like a like a pottery slip now when I'm brushing this. And this is it may dry out and crack 
a little because sometimes that can happen, especially when you get the air dry clay wet. As it dries, it might crack. But it's also taking on, I had some, um, I had some sandy blonde on my fingers, and so it's getting a sandy blonde coloration. Okay, so I think I'll leave it right there like that, and I might sandpaper it a little bit. We're gonna, I don't want it to dry too fast, so I'm not gonna set this outside. We're just gonna set it over there. And if you saw, I would glue down first and then put the air dry clay, and that'll really help it bond. Even though it's a wood glue, wood glue sticks to quite a few things. Well, Jamie I just used stuck wood glue it to on that. So I'm using one of Debbie's new brushes, and I don't tell her. I just took out the leather piece that hangs it because it kept flipping me in the hand. I actually don't love it either. I don't really hang my brushes. It's very aesthetic. Mm -hmm. It looks great, but I feel like it gets in my way when I'm painting. Yeah. It's easy. You saw how you do what you want with your brushes if you want to hang them there and look. But our brushes are workhorses and very rarely get hung to look pretty on a wall. I love this <laughs> one. It reminds me of the pointy sister. I don't know what this one is called, but it has like a pointy edge and it's getting in all my detail. I think it's called the insider. The insider. I don't know. I know. I think that was old names. I don't know what she named all her brushes. I'm the worst ever. But if you want these, you can go to jamierayvintage.com. We have all of Debbie's new brushes. I do want to tell you that you probably should not use them with anything with a top coat unless you're going to wash them right away because they're very soft. They're specifically made to put DIY paint on without working, overworking it and for blending. So they work really well for that. Oh, it's the perfectionist. Thank the you, Upcycle by Brie. There it's weird that I would be painting with a perfectionist because I'm so not a perfectionist, but it does get in all the detail. So it's good for thrift flipping. We have enough products now that we carry. I can't really be responsible right? for what all the names are, even our own stuff. I named the new decoupage uh, rice paper and I, <laughs> you know, good luck. I don't know what all those names are. All right. So this is dry. I, if you at the very beginning, I put a whitewash on this. It was already gray. If I wanted to simulate the gray on the wood, I'd probably just do like a, this is a pretty light gray. So I'd probably do like a gravel road, um, something like that and just do a wash. If you guys are wanting to buy any of our thrift flips or home decor, it is 20% off until next Tuesday. No code needed at jamierayvintage.com. We're having a little Mother's Day sale. So you can pick some of them up for your mom or treat yourself, whatever floats your boat. I actually didn't tell you, but I ordered myself a new pair of Birkenstocks. I was just about to say, I tend to let Jamie get whatever she was going to get for herself. Because I don't buy her clothing or shoes because those, you know, those got to fit right. I got purple Burks. Um, Well, that's exciting. That is exciting. And then what I do is the kids and I, we usually make like some really good meals. We try to make sure the house is as cleaned up as we can get it. Um, he usually does one random project for me. And then, yes, either uh, make her something cool. Like one year I made her some huge corbels. Uh, no, that was for our anniversary. Oh, was that our anniversary? I've yeah. made you corbels for... Made me Mother's corbels, Day and then too. one anniversary, you made me a bench that's in the mudroom. Yeah. Well, I'm not really one for, like, materialistic things. Like, I just buy what I need when I need it. I prefer my love language is time or something that you make, but not something that you buy. But don't take away from her time to make the thing. Yeah, you better, you better figure that out. Because if you're going to make me something, but then I'm going to have to be by myself, I would rather just spend time with you. I mean, you'd think I'd have enough of you already, but apparently there's not a limit to the amount of time I want to spend with you. I told you, you got to just start coming and hanging out. Watch I know, work today on I get to go shovel dirt. <laughs> I told her my stomach was sore from working the shovel so much because I haven't shoveled in, I don't know, it's been a long time since I've actually shoveled. Um, but I'm having to shovel quite a bit to put the dirt back all nice and flat. The tractor does so much, and then you got to get the rake and the shovel out. Um, Lace, plus, I don't want to break Lace the water lines. Lace just got purple Birkenstocks. Sorry nice. to interrupt you, but I did want to forget. But she my said, my, I told was telling Jamie, I'm like, my stomach is sore from that. She's like, I need to come shovel because she wants to get a stomach workout. <laughs> hey, you could go to the gym or you could do manual labor. I feel like manual labor is more productive. And the sooner we get done with the irrigation, the sooner you get started on my patio. See, oh, I, I have see. an ulterior motive. 
All right, I'm using Apothecary. I'm using the Perfectionist. Jamie, what color are you using? It is more green than blue, for sure. If you want a little bit more blue, use Farm Fresh. That's more of a duck egg blue. Or you can just mix a little blue in here, like Petal Pusher or whatever is really pretty. So we didn't change the color on this a lot. We just kind of toned it back. There's still like a little splotch in here, but it's fine. The, the white wash gave it kind of an oxidized look. I like that. That looks a lot better. Yeah, it's kind it's of brownish before. Um, are you headed outside? Can you bring in my uh, clock? Yep. No, my clock's up here. Can you bring in my, my picture frame? I knew what you meant. Your mirror? Yeah, my mirror. Not <laughs> it's, it's a frame right now. We got some really cool frames that we're going to pre-print um, some prints for for this next Saturday thrift also coming up on Saturday. And they're going to be all new prints that we haven't shown yet. We're going to come up with some new so ones. So I found out that those are very expensive chalk couture frames, like $170 for just the frame. Like they're specially made for like that situation. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to leave the chalkboard. I don't want to decoupage it. So that way if whoever buys it, if they want to do a chalkboard with it, they can. Okay, well then never mind. No, we could put art in there. We just oh, put it over the top. Leave... I just don't want to decoupage it on because I don't want to ruin the ch the chalkboard because it's a special chalkboard that can be used over and over again. I see. Okay. So I thought we'd just put art over the top of it. And we'll definitely paint the frame. But we'll include the backer should they want to use it. That's the plan. Amber says, I just got done digging a hole to level for my kid's pool. And that was a fantastic workout. True story. I always um, lose a little bit of weight and get a little trimmed up in the summer because I love to garden. And well, I have a love hate relationship with gardening. I love it when it's done. So I do spend a good time, amount of time out there. As soon as all the irrigation is finished, I'm going to go buy flowers. That's actually exciting because That's last year. Once we put the flowers in, we're like, oh, now we got to hand water this all summer. I know. And it was a couple of them were in some very hot areas, like full sun for most of the day, including the afternoon. And we'd have to water them in the afternoon, too. Let's make sure I'm not missing any questions. So I'm planning we on just dark? putting some more perennials. There? Yeah, we are kind of dark. Oh, the lights aren't on over here. Oh. Is that better? Sure. Um, I'm planning on putting some more perennials in. The di dianthus that I got on discount last year, if you guys recall, I got a bunch of half-dead flowers and planted them. They have come back amazing. So I definitely want to plant some dianthus, and then I'm going to do some wildflowers. Nothing too crazy. I, I, I the, the cosmos looked so good yeah. last year all over the place. They just grew up huge. They looked great in the garden. They looked good out front. I feel like it's uh, hard to go wrong with those. Cody and they wants just, inside. I know. That's his let me inside yet. I'm going to have to go break his heart and tell him he needs to be patient. Because he's, he's, he's had a, a little he's bit a of. He's a schnoodle. He has no impatience. He had a, he's no he's had a little bit of a stomach bug. He made a mess all over the floor in the middle of the night last night. Yeah, Zeb woke up, didn't even notice it. I'm like, Zeb, your dog. Had a he's my so dog he when bat. he has a situation. Yeah. Definitely. Just like they're your kids when they're naughty. They're not my kids. My kids wouldn't be naughty. Your kids are perfect and the cutest. That is true. All right. I'm not going to paint the inside of this, I don't think. I think the inside match as well. I'm just going to paint the ledge. So this is the one that we add our little mold situation to. It's going to need another coat, but I'll let it dry. You've got to be shh. And then I'll wax it. Yeah, should be okay. See, it needed a little something. That's what I like about molds. Just a little something, something here. We've got a little glue pooching out. Cooper said never. Cooper knows how well behaved my perfect children are. <laughs> he just there. needed some love. He snuggled up and rubbed his face all on me, and I gave him some and good scratches, fine. and then he went and played with Rex. All right, I'm trying to think what I need to get to next. He I was think just this like, tile is good. I'm due for some scratches. Can I move my apothecary over there? Yep. Here, I can scooch. I, I got a big old mess going over here. I, need I, gotta, I can't put the pink up yet because I got a second coat some stuff. Did you use black or something? Not yet. 
Oh. That was that just a lid on something? I don't know. My white lid's right there. What is the color you use for chink pink? I was using petticoat pink. I also like vintage pink. Um, a lot of times what I like to do is I'll lay down a color of DIY paint and then I'll lay the cottage color over the top because it has a built-in sealer. We'll probably take this back apart to ship it. Time is Cody's love language too. Yeah. That he will literally cool. sit on Jamie all day and the closer he can get to her face, the better. <laughs> if she's on the chair, he'll go up on the back of the chair and sit there so that he can be like right by her neck, like wrap around. Where did you put the white it. brush? Did you use it for um, any blonde or? No. It was in a wash. Did I put it back there? Okay. So that tray's done. We're not going to do anything else. I already waxed it. That's going to be the thing. I guess Did I we just lose the white brush? Maybe I use it. Yeah, I just hate to dirty another brush, but. I may have put it in here for salt wash. I don't, the people on the other side of the camera probably It's a high chance. All right, that's okay. I'm just going to second coat this. Oh, that's this. dry. Good. And then I'm going to throw this outside because things dry so fast out there. Yeah, they're drying up quick. We're going to be able to get a lot of projects yeah, done. Yeah, that's what I'm I got to have do. less story time, though. I've been doing lots of story time. I know we have to finish at one because we didn't do our outline yet for business coaching, and I like to have an outline so that I can stay focused. I don't want to waste people's time with me talking around in tangents. That can happen real quick. Are you pulling color out of the box over there? Yeah, I'm grabbing. So this is just white swan. This was like a grayish color underneath, so it's going to distress back beautifully. This dark wax got melty in the in the barn. Oh, the one from my piece last week. Mm -hmm. Have you tried hollyhocks? Uh, no, but hollyhocks, if you start them from seed, they don't, I don't think they bloom the first year. I think it's like the second year. So I'd have to buy the plants already done. My cosmos traveled across the yard, none in the flower bed, but plenty all around. <laughs> that's funny. I just planted wildflowers, which I have. A, don't we have a cup of seed somewhere? Do you know where that's at? Yeah, we have a cup of, um, they're mostly um, just cosmos. Yeah, we saved our seeds from last year, and we just planted wildflowers. I, I like the idea of just letting nature, you know, take its course, throw the seeds in water and see what happens. Like sitting down and like planning out a very organized, well thought out garden just is not my jam. And even if I tried, then they would be organized and one thing would die and it'd throw it all off and it'd make me lose my mind. So do you, since you're going to be there helping me, we probably can knock out that like leveling off the the ground pretty quick. Do you want to try to take that concrete out today? No. Oh, you <laughs> didn't want to do that much work, huh? Let's, let's pace ourselves. I mean, the tractor is going to do most of it. I mean, if I get to watch you on the tractor and drink a cold beverage, thus sign me up for that. <laughs> I don't really think you're going to have as much time as you think you're going to have because no. we have business coaching we gotta, and then we're talking with Jessica. And then the kids get home, that usually occupies some of my time at least. I'm only going to have probably like an hour. We might just have to bring the kids over there mm -hmm. with us. They're also due for well, some Redrick shovel work. Well, Redrick has football. What time is his football practice? Uh, 6.30? Oh, he'll have plenty of time. Do peonies bloom the first year? Uh, I don't believe if they're planted from seed, but if you, plant, if you buy them, they will. Are my peonies going to come back? Uh, it looks like they're trying. I have some in the back. The chickens the really cottage. did a number on all the marigold. They, they they went through and dug up all the roots. Yeah, I'm gonna. That's okay. Because they kept flying are, over that short fence, and they, marigolds are relatively inexpensive. I can just plant and some seeds, and they're they'll prolific. Be fine. Like they'll come back on their own. I'm just sad they dug up my snapdragons. Oh, can you fix the camera? Yep. Okay, so I did not pre-wax this first. It's going to probably it's stay dirty. pretty dark. I might have to come back with some clear It's like wax. Cody had an accident. No, his accident was not that bad. He, <laughs> tried to, he tried to keep it localized for me. He was a good boy and went on the wood floor instead yeah, Cooper of... Cooper uh, says, yes, hollyhocks bloom the next year after you plant them. You know why Cooper knows these things? Because he is the vice president of the FFA. 
That might be more of his flor florist class that he took. Oh, yeah. Also, he took a florist class. If you guys saw prom pictures for them, Cooper and Odelia did their own corsages and boutonnieres. Or boutonniere. Not, there was not plural. Definitely coming back with some lots of heavy clear wax on this. So I should have clear waxed it first. I didn't realize it was going to soak it up that much, but this piece was dry, dry, and it it ate up all that dark wax. Are you trying to pull it off? Yeah, we're going to we're going to Why get didn't it you clear wax it first? Cuz I want it to be dark. I might white white wax it. I forgot I, I got to paint the bottom. I don't often use white wax. That's kind of Jamie's jam. It's my jam. I like white wax. It's safe. Dark wax is <laughs> not safe. You just never know what you're going to get. So this is going to be good. I'm just going to have to super scrub it. I love totes, but they're really a pain to paint. I think I'm only going to do two coats on this. I'm going to heat gun the bottom so that I can finish painting the rest. Ro Rhoda says the tote is cute. Lisa, um, I think, I don't know if I put them on YouTube. I think I just put them on Instagram. But I, can, I know they were on your personal Yeah, Facebook. I can put them up on YouTube stories for you guys to see. Um, I'll throw that. If you guys, do you guys know where to find YouTube stories? I know not everybody uses stories but i can do that so that way you can see them they're really cute we took them at uh, the salt flats zeb is good with a camera and cooper wanted to go to the salt flats so we went out there and took them hydrangeas are beautiful they do also require a decent amount of humidity i have heard though that limelight does well in utah because utah is a fairly dry state Fairly dry. We're about to. <laughs> we're the like, second driest. Like we just nation. got tons of snow, and we're about to go for six months without rain. That is true. <laughs> we so, might get a few sprinklings and a few storms here and there, but nothing significant. If I do hydrangeas, it would definitely be limelight because they survive our weather. Carolyn says yes. Put them on YouTube stories. Okay, I will try to remember to do that um, after we're live, so you guys can see them. They're, they're cute. cute. They're they're Odelia fun. and Cooper are a lot of fun, and they they're are fun and giggly. Fun they're easy to photograph because the whole time they're just like talking and chatting and giggling over there and smiling and doing random weird things. And I usually just keep snapping pictures the whole time and get some pretty good candid shots. I'm having to two coat this because they speckled it. So the speckles, it looks like a dinosaur. Well, and the salt flats when we were out there. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the salt flats, but it's like really white, really bright. It looks like snow, but it's not. Um, and there was it had just snowed a couple days before, and that had melted off. And so there was like this little skim of water over the top of the salt flats. And so we got their reflection in the water that was on top of the salt, and it looks really cool. That was fun. It also saves a ton of money to be able to get good pictures and not have to pay anybody. Although we drove two hours. That is true. <laughs> to go get these pictures. But if we had to like pay a photographer to go out there, that would cost hundreds of dollars. So yeah. it's convenient. And then they didn't have to, except for buying the flowers, they didn't have to like go do the court corsage. But it's pays to be crafty and DIY. -y. DIY. -y. DIY. -y. All right. I think this is good. I'm going to move this over here so i'm actually bringing some of that original Your white frame back. Is, yeah it's looking good uh debbie cooper's mission is two years straight they do get to like facetime once a week we did not get to do that before social media i got to call my mom on like mother's day and christmas yeah they get to call home once a week so that's nice it's not like a super set in stone thing if you've got an emergency or someone dies need to talk to your mom you know you can talk to your family but they try they used to think that like you know it was a distraction to talk to your family all the time and now these kids are going around they got facebook to do a lot of their proselyting with because you know times have changed yeah and they use the social media as a uh 
as a tool to schedule things and meet people and talk with people. And so they can, they can call and talk all the time. And while Cooper's gone, he'll probably have like Facebook and he'll share out stuff. So I will, um, if Cooper's all right, I can also share out his Facebook once that happens, once he leaves. It's funny because kids these days don't use Facebook, except for all these boys, they go on the girls too. They go on their mission. They get a Facebook account for it because a lot of social media, especially over COVID, they, it's like how you can reach out to people and do missionary work through social media. Carol says, my grandson just went to junior prom last weekend. It was so fun to see him all dressed up. It is fun. Cooper actually just, he got a suit for his mission and he used it for prom. He got a new tie. Odelia's dress we got at Macy's, it was $75 half off. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. And she did her own. Eliza has all the things to DIY your own gel nails. So Odelia did her own nails, her own makeup and hair. Back when I was a girl, you got your hair did, you got your nails did, you had to do all these things. And now these girls, they don't do the whole updo hairstyle situation. I decided to paint the bottom because it's looking yucky. I don't think Les isn't on here. I'm going to have to message her on Facebook to make sure she's doing okay. I haven't seen her in a little bit. Is this little house-shaped glass for a clock you did? What's that yeah, over there? Yeah, it's for the clock where I put the transfer on it. Okay. I'm just cleaning my glass. Someone already painted this. That's why they it's got the white. It. And they did not remove their glass. They well, actually, sometimes I don't they actually scratched it a little, looks like, too. How do you know it was a sheet? Um, no, I mean, there's very few guys that do this. It's a high chance. <laughs> the odds are in my favor. That is true. You're unique. I mean, there are some out there but it's not like an ultra common thing. We need to bring it back because crafting and painting is therapeutic, unless you hate it. There are some people that it's like, they'd rather poke, poke themselves with nails than what? craft, but I love to craft. I love to paint. Nails? It's like one of my favorite parts about this job is I get to paint stuff. People are like, I don't know how you guys paint every week. Like, listen, some weeks it is too much, right? Like, it feels like a crazy amount of we work. We only had one box this week. I bad. love painting. Like, it's fun. I mean, literally, I paint junk for a living. How fun is that? All right. I'm not going to do, like, 52 coats of paint on the inside of this because it is the inside. But I did miss a spot. I think I might put an IOD transfer on this, too. I think that'd be cute. What would the next craft, craft kit be? That's a good question. I don't question. know. That's a good question. I haven't thought about it. We actually have a ton of ideas we want to do. We just need to dial them in and see if they're feasible. Some things we're like, yeah, that would be fun to do. And then we go to do it and actually create the kit. And we're like, oh, that's that's too much. That's a, When you're making 200 of something or 150 of something, it's you, you, you do got to remember that there is time involved in the craft kit. So we got to rein ourselves in. Well, and cost and... I should have got a new uh, washcloth. Do you, oh, you could dirty that one up. Do I have? I have like a semi-clean one right here. I mean, it's been used no, a little bit. No, I'm just going to rinse this out. It just needs a rinse. This dark wax one, though, I don't know if it's coming back without just a... just had like oatmeal or something on it. I didn't cycle. realize it. I need to scrub these anyways. These jar lids. I don't know that we're going to get them done on this live, but I got to scrub them down because they're greasy. There we go. Let me bring you for the close up. Oh, that's a little splotchy. There we go. Fixed it. Now it's moody and crusty and aged to perfection. And you can see I brushed this on. It almost gave it like a wood grain texture. Let's see if I can get that close and focus it up. There you go.
And I like it better all one color rather than two tone, to be honest. And it's got a little bit of that that came back through, but not much. <clears throat> Clock time. Oh, this is not quite dry. I need to go set this in the sun. Do we have clear wax out? Yeah, I have it out. Okay, Although, I'm going to dry where I wet distress this and clear wax it, and then I can put my clock back in. And then this project will be done. Jane Brown has been missing too, yes. Jane sometimes watches the replays, just depends. Where would I find the Bible pages? Those would be... Caitlin, are you back on here? Would you mind dropping the link to the Bible pages? I know Caitlin stepped out because she had to take a shower. If she doesn't drop a link, remind me, and I'll send you a link to the Bible pages because those are included in the sale, so you can get 20% off on them. Is my tile dry, sweetie? Um, I'll check it. So this is the house clock that I painted apothecary. And then this is the clock face that I put the little transfer on the bottom. I'm just going to clear wax this and I'm going to put the clock back in. And I know it works because it's got a battery in it. This is the one I picked up from the yard sale. The question is, is it all, yeah, it's all dark. I got to wipe it off. Yeah, you got to clean it. Here, let me give it a good squeeze. All right. Sweet. I'll work on this project next because it dried off and then this can happen. I love when I actually finish a project on the live videos because sometimes I feel like all I do is I'm trying to get all things. mine complete that I started. Yeah. So you guys can see the whole project start to finish instead of like 52 base coats. Amy says she loves paint palooza and Kathleen loves the frame. It looks really good. Thank you. Thanks. We'll get that. All right, I'm going a different route with that clock. I painted that clock with the uh, salt wash sandy blonde mix. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go a different way with it though. Oh, I wet distressed a lot of paint off of that side. That's all right. Looks good. It was gray to begin with, so it's like a good blend here. I always try to think when I'm painting something what it's gonna look like if that color peeks through when I distress it. If I don't want it to peek through, then sometimes I'll prime it with white with the salvation solution. But it's always possible, no matter what, that the original color might peek through. So if it would look really horrendous with the top color, just remember, you may see it. No matter how much you try. Or you can sand the base color off, I guess, if you don't like it. But. This is going to make that apothecary darker. It will dry a little bit lighter. But it seals it, waxes it, it's all good. Okay, there we go. Where's my little, here it is. So when you're, when you're scraping your glass off, be careful you've got a blade that doesn't have like chips or anything because you can cut and scrape your glass with the razor blade. You just gotta be careful. Seb, I didn't realize this, but this has like a blue kind of watercolor on the top of it, which, matches well with my theme I have going on. See? Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. Who would have thunk it? Love that house shape. Isn't it cute? I need to count how many clock kits I have because I was thinking about doing something similar. Did you see that cute cutout clock that I got um, yesterday, Deb? Mm -hmm. Did you break scrolly that glass cut out? That? No, I didn't break it. Oh, I, this has been sitting out. This needs some water. Anyways, I was thinking about maybe that for the next craft kit, but don't hold me to it because sometimes we say we might do something and the people are like, I thought you were going to do this. We don't know what it is until we actually do it. There's like all these tabs in here. I'm having to... The nice thing about DIY paint, water soluble, reconstitutes really, really well. I am not pointing at life here. Well, maybe, because when I get it in one side, then the other side's tabs poke through. Oh, I 
Did I get it? Oh. Is that a oh. question, please? I have a vintage draft table. Want to use it for a kitchen table? What's the best way to seal it with? Um, I would use the new final finish from Sweet Pickens. It looks like Caitlin is not on that here, or so. uh, Big Top. We've done Big Top on yeah. our table. Did like five coats, like five or six years ago. I don't know how long this table has been around, and it's it's doing good. There it is. This one is not uh, it's not completely no VOC, but it's are uh, pretty dang durable. I'm gonna drop a link, Felix. Use this, and you can. I would try matte. The matte still has a decent amount of shine. You could also use satin. I wouldn't go with gloss just because that'd be pretty shiny for an old piece. That's also All right, so there's cool, a link that... to that. And then somebody wanted a link to something else. Hold on. I'd love to see your draft table. Somebody. All right, so this black is so pigmented with the clay. It's it's on most things. It's a one coat coverage. I'm gonna set that aside to dry for a sec. I might go black on this one too. Let me see what's gonna be. Seb, what did I? Somebody asked for something, and I said I would drop the link if Caitlin wasn't here. I can't remember what it was. It was. Like, I think one, oh, the Bible pages, that's what it was. All right. I was like, I don't know. <laughs> All you have to do is there's a little magnifying glass on our website. If you just type in Bible, like it pops up Bible pages right there. So if you're ever looking for something, you can use that little search magnifying glass. Oh, yep. Diana popped it up. Well, here's a link to the Bible pages anyways, in case anybody else wants them. They got them all separated out. And in little plastic things ready to ship. Is that from the 1800s Bible? Yeah, we bought, in case anybody's like, what are you talking about Bible pages? Um, we bought an 1800s Bible and it was falling apart. And so we separated out all the pages and are selling them five pages at a time for people to like frame and stuff. All right, this thing is going to be the devil. <gasps> like I called it a name and then it, Fixed itself out. Did you get it? Mm hmm. Let me see. Cute. So here's my new little clock. I'll bring it up close. I'm not going to put the screws in. I'll let Seb do that. He's better at getting little baby screws back in. But here's my little clock. So I think Apothecary paired nice with that little IOD transfer. Not a huge transformation, but I think it's fun. It was like gray before. Now it's got a fun little bit of color to it. I honestly don't know where I'm oh, going with this finish. Side. I do know where I'm going with that finish. <laughs> I love that you like, I don't know. Sometimes I don't know either. I was I'm like, sorry. I have black on the brush. Let's go. There we go. Can you please repeat the sale info? Yes. Yeah, so all of the thrift hall, home decor, and antique collection are 20% off till next Tuesday and no code needed at jamierayvintage.com. You cannot, however, stack discounts. So if you have a discount for something else, you can't get it on top of the 20% off. And we usually only do this maybe two, possibly mm, three not, times a year. We've not usually ever Usually it's done. twice. Usually it's just on Black Friday that time. So it's been a hot minute since we've had this all in sale. Leslie said the clock is so cute. Thank you. How many clocks are we remaking today? I don't we have, know. We have four. I'm only remaking the one that I bought. I'm in the middle of three. I'm, I got an urn. Of, I'm doing an urn of Palooza. I've got that urn that had the mold on. Did I put that? Oh, it's over there. You know what? When you said urn of Palooza, I'm like, what are you trying to earn? I'm trying to earn a 40 <laughs> acres. <laughs> it's got to work. Oh, look, all my glue like came out the bottom. It's all right. I got a second coat in this, anyways. So this, I will actually not wax until tomorrow. I like to let my molds dry. So I'm just going to second coat this and set it aside. And then tomorrow I'll come back. I'll touch up. If it has any big cracks, I'll just touch it up with more apothecary. And then I can wax it. But you want to paint it while the mold is still wet because it limits the amount of cracking. And um, it just looks better overall. So I like to paint it, just be soft. 
and then I'll come back tomorrow and wax it. So this one you guys won't get to see until I do my little video. I always do a video of everything we paint, a little short. All right, I'm gonna take that outside to dry and this other one, and then I'm gonna go get that clock I just finished putting salt wash on. I think Is it the Crackle be product a DIY one? No, so the Crackle that we sell is made by Sweet Pickens, but you can use it under the DIY paint like we did in the video I put up last Friday. If you guys haven't been catching our Furniture Friday videos, definitely check those out. We kind of have a, a thing going here. Typically I do a piece of furniture on Fridays or a big paint project. And then Monday's videos are thrifting. And then we have paint to Tuesdays, waste not Wednesday, shop two or Thursday. And then Saturday thrift haul. And then Sunday is the Lord's day. So we take that day off. And we some may people, start when we're working on the call. Some people the, are going to argue with you that the Sabbath is on Saturday. Well, for us, the Sabbath is on Sunday. So that's when we take off. But we're, when we start working on the cottage, I'll probably include those videos on Fridays and maybe on the end of the thrifting videos. Kind of depends. Seb, could you give me a drink of water? Yep. I don't think we're going to include a lot of the demo. We'll probably show a before and include that in one of the videos instead of doing like a whole video on demo. If I can remember, I'll give you guys a little sneaky peeky in this Friday's video of the cottage because a lot of people have been It's still a mess. Like Harrington moved out and he knew we were demoing it and so he did not clean. Yeah. I think I'm going to leave this upside down so I can paint the bottom. Oh, you needed water. Yeah. I just have like a little catch in my throat. Sandra said, I missed the Friday's video. I can't wait to catch up. Friday's fun. We did crackle. It, people either love it or they hate it. And I'm okay. I'm in I'm in the love category, but of course I'm the one that did it. So there's some water for you. Lisa says if I want to see all the cottage redo. We'll include it because we film all the time, so we can put it in all of our other videos. We just find that just straight up renovation. Well, I have like an hour of sprinkler video, and probably five minutes of that might make it. Yeah, it's not as that exciting. But we'll incorporate it with other stuff. Do just the men do missionary work? Nope. Girls go too. Um, Odelia is actually thinking about going on a mission. Boys go at 18. Girls go at 19. Girls' missions are 18 months. Boys are two years. But they all go. And the senior couples go on missions too. So like Zeb and I, once we retire, we could go on a mission. The senior couple missions are fun. A lot of times they're like service missions and they send you to foreign countries. And you could be just like helping them get sustainable water or whatever, all kinds of stuff like that, that the church helps fund and support. Tanea, who used to work for us, if you guys remember Jean, her daughter is Tanea, and Tanea just got back from a mission to Las Vegas. Did she go Spanish speaking there? Nope, English speaking. Sandra, I was talking about the crackle. She says, I'm in the love category and my hubby, not so much. I'm, I have to keep trying to stop him fixing it. <laughs> it you know, it, it's a thing. So since we're talking about Cooper's mission call and missions, like my sister, my brother went to Suriname, which is like a little island north of South America. They speak Dutch there. Um, I, I guess it would be in the Caribbean. That's where my brother went. My brother and not Abe. everybody goes. Like Ty didn't go. Yeah, Ty didn't go. Harrington decided not to go on a mission. Um, and then my sister. I have two sisters that didn't go. They just ended up getting going to one went to school for eight years and <laughs> the other one got married. Um, Maddie went to Mexico. And but my sister Maddie went to uh, Oaxaca, Mexico. My dad went to. Uh, I guess it would be kind of like the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. Well, yeah, the mission, like the missions are smaller now. Back when he was there, there weren't as many missions in Mexico. Yeah. All right, so I'm just wet distressing this um, paint, this apothecary, and it's bringing us down to the original color of my urn here. And this has, like I said, this has so much detail. I didn't need to do really a whole lot to it. It just needed a fun color. Um, Odelia is just gonna, going to go to school and get her classes knocked out and then Cooper will get back and they'll figure out whatever they're going to do. I don't know. No pressure. I think young kids have a lot of pressure on them. So I just say do what works for you. 
Everybody has an opinion. You shouldn't get married young. You should get married young. You should have kids right away. You shouldn't have kids right away. And I think every situation is so unique and so different. So I just, I don't, I want my kids to do what's best for them. Well, and some people can do it and some people can't. Like Jamie and I got married really young. Here we are almost 22 years later and five kids and a business and several house projects and we're doing great. We had to grow up a lot though. We did it yeah, together. Yeah, 20s were fun. I mean, I was pretty mature. <laughs> I feel like I've calmed down. Not that anybody would believe that, but I used to be way more high strung and prissy. Like my mom's like, I would have never thought you would have farm animals and build a house. Also, she would have never come hunting with me. Nope. Well, I didn't eat meat for four years, so that's a long stretch. Um, but yeah, Zeb, I feel like Zeb's come over to Zeb used to be way more like wild and free. And I used to be more uptight. And we both have learned from each other what works, what doesn't work. And well, so, I, I hit like like 28 and became a workaholic. Yeah. <laughs> but you started doing when you started working with me, I feel like you started doing something that you love, and that changes things. Yep. That makes work more fun. Sometimes I feel guilty working just because I'm like, well, I should be hanging out with my kids, but instead I'm working on a project because it's more fun sometimes. But now that my kids are getting older, like they're my best friends. So Jillian and Eliza are so much fun to hang out with. And Harrington, when he's around, he's busy. Snowboarding, he, he works a snowboarding lot. Snowboarding season is over, so we might see him more. What are you doing? It's getting white after this. Okay. I was like, that looks like a Ninja Turtle shell. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <clears throat> Grew up with the teenage. Is it a choice to me, a missionary? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's totally voluntary. You ever tried to force a teenager to do A lot of times you pay long. for it yourself. If you can't, sometimes the church can uh, help you with funding, but for the most part, you pay for that, like your housing and your food and your clothes. And <laughs> you never want to force kids to do something. It's, you know, nice to offer a recommendation at life, but they do what they do. All right. This is all waxed up. Another project complete. I'll bring it up close so you guys can see it. It's going to dry a little splotchy because that's what wax does. But in 24 hours, it'll calm down. Can you guys see that? There you go. Put, put that next to my other project that's complete. All right. If you've just joined, I did a repair on this earlier in the show. In the show? Is that yeah, it's now? a show now. It's over an hour long. Um, this is still drying, so I'm going to let it dry. And then I'm just going to take some 220 sandpaper. This is air dry clay that I glued onto this chip. You can see a lot better where the air dry clay is, how big that chip was. Um, I'm going to let it keep drying for a little bit. It's almost there. And then I'm going to sand it to shape. It's just got a couple little wobblies from where my finger pressed into it. And then we'll sand it and paint that. Odelia is still planning on living at home, at least for the first year. Well, here's the thing. I told her that I would help her with college if she stayed home. If she wants to go out of state, Help then, her uh, then a lot of her, she's also going to need to either get some student loans or uh, a serious job <laughs> and go to school. Putting my urn and over she here. voted to stay here with mom and dad. She likes us. Her and Eliza get along really well. And well, honestly, she's such a good kid. Like we regulate her hardly any. She really just lives her best life all the time and does whatever. All right, a next project. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles used to freak my baby boy out. He wouldn't watch them. I don't think Zeb watched them because he didn't have TV. I saw plenty of Ninja Turtle stuff. I watched way more, though. Probably. I didn't really watch a lot of TV growing up, like a couple hours a week, maybe. Sorry. Sorry, we're back. We ain't doing touching stuff. I was just moving the mouse. Sorry, I'm back. Can you guys hear me? 
um what were we talking about oh ninja turtles so yeah he, he didn't have it like when we started dating they had one tv and it had a turnstile knob on it and no cable and now his mom like that was like in uh 2000 yeah 99 and i remember when she started getting tvs and she started getting netflix she's had some health issues so you got to do something you can't just lay in bed and do nothing but it's just funny when because... she'd read all <laughs> she re she's read so much yep Okay, so I this was TV. this was like a hey happy holidays notification for some company. Um, Deb, do you have to glue in the air dry clay to patch the item, or will it just stick like putty? You need to glue you it. Glue it's it. not. It doesn't have its own adhesion. When it dries out, it's going to fall out of whatever it's attached to. If you manage to put it in a crack or something, it'll probably fall out. Like glue, glue it a lot. Oh, this one did not have glass. Are we doing anything to these frames? I kind of like these frames as is. They've got some white. They've got some gold. No, I was just putting art in them. Gold. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with what they got going on. I think I'm going to put them both back together without glass because the one didn't have glass. Oh, did you use this on? Oh, I used this on Apothecary. Let me rinse this out. Yeah, some it was me. I was going to get an you. apothecary wash on your white. It's fine. I got it. That is a really stubborn thrift store tag. But I got, I won. You're telling me, I, I was telling Zeb, like my least favorite thing about photographing the thrift haul is I have to, um, Oh, that just dries more. I have to get all the ta price tags off, and it takes forever. And it's just annoying where they tape stuff together. I mean, I guess it's really a first world problem, but. Oh, thanks for the super chat, Emma. If you're on Facebook, a super chat is like sending stars. Some people don't know the difference. And then on if you're on YouTube... A stars is like a super chat. And for whatever reason, we don't see stars till after we're live when we use StreamYard. So I always like to go through and check. Marissa says she's watching us from work. I'm watching you from work too, so it's all right. So I'm just using water to wet the stress this white swan. You know, I see that. I love with things like this to wet the stress as opposed to using sandpaper because it just takes me down to whatever the base coat was and not back to the shiny metal finish. And Emma says, love you guys, love you too. Um, and then it just gives you kind of a chippy layered authentic look. So once I do this, I'll heat gun the water and then I'll just clear wax it and this piece will be finished. Oh, Caitlin says that it shows up like a blank comment. So she tries to thank him. Thank you for doing that, Caitlin. I will, if I can remember, I go back afterwards and say thank you. Check and see if there's any of them. So speaking of Facebook, I am working with Facebook to try to hopefully get access back to Jamie Ray Vintage. The problem is that they are saying I should have access to my page because I have my personal page back, but I do, I do indeed not have Somehow access. it got disconnected when the hackers got it, and it's been a thing. Yeah. So and trying to actually talk to somebody at Facebook is a situation. I did get on a live chat yesterday. And they're supposed to email us today, so we'll see. Um, Mel says, I'm late. I've been re-watching your 4th of July paint palooza I need inspiration. That's my go-to video. Holy moly, have we been doing them since last summer? I think we just did a couple long ones, yeah. I think we, we started did them, doing and them, and then now we do them more regularly. Yeah, now we used to do them randomly, and now we're like, this is when we have time. Let's go. There's still a blue sticker on the top of the right one. Oh, that's just painter's tape. We'll get it off. I, on our Saturday lives, I use That's painters the price. To the price tags on them. So we don't have to wait for Caitlin to drop all T the Tegan. links. Sorry, what were we saying? Oh. Nope, nothing important. I didn't know you were going to start talking. Uh, T. Tegan says, I'm stuck with what color or look to give my wall pockets. I have two matching. I guess it just depends on what color they already are and what you want to put in them. I like to go opposite. So if they're light, choose a dark color. If they're dark, choose a light color. That way, when you distress, it gives you some good contrast. And Lori says, I'm glad you decided to do these more regularly. Yeah, it just kind of turned into a thing. 
It's a really great way for us to show you in real time how all of our products work. Um, and it helps us because we all we have to paint this stuff anyway. I mean, we may not do it forever. We might yeah. we like to switch things up, so enjoy them while they last. That's right. <laughs> all right, so I'm just and the the hackers, sorry, to go back to my page, the hackers no longer have control over my page, but I just can't access it to post anything new. Ironically, I do get um, notifications, but I, they don't take me anywhere. So it's really frustrating. So she sees when people comment on the old page. Or if they message us. Or message. They're like, hey, I can't find this and this product on the website, and we can't help them. <laughs> so. All right, so this is going to need a spacer. I'm just, so right now so I'm just so drying where I wet distressed it because it activates that white swan. I don't want it to be all the way dry before I wax it. That Vicky said, I see my situation pot got shipped. All right. So Vicky, funny story. I get this message from the gals. Should we bend these screws back? Cause it's a upcycled project. I was like, Nope, Vicky saw it. She knows what it looks like. She's going to plant in it. So we're leaving the screws exactly how they are. So I told them to just put a bunch of bubble wrap around the screws. So that way they don't like poke anything. Uh, bronze. Ronnie Slava says, first time caught you live. She's from the Czech Republic. Oh, that's fun. Welcome, welcome. And Jody says, yay, I caught you live. Welcome, everybody. We're going to be live for about another half an hour, and then we're going to have to I got to wrap here. up a couple clocks. We've got to get business coaching going. And I got to get I my need outline. some lunch. Yep, got to eat lunch. For business coaching, we usually will go off of something we're inspired to talk about, or we go read comments and see what everybody is asking about. And then we try to gear our live towards what people are actually working on in the group. So I got to take time to look through everything. Can you give an idea on how to use a silver making powder? Yeah, so I would go with something darker painted, like with DIY paint. And then use the clear wax, sprinkle it on, and then work that making powder just to give you a little bit of shimmer. I feel like it shows up best on dark paint finishes. If you try to put it on white, it just doesn't have enough contrast. But if you paint it on something dark. So try it on a sample board with the color you're wanting to use. And then clear wax it, sprinkle it on, wipe it back, and make sure you like the combo. Whenever you're trying a new combo, especially if you're unsure, I feel like that's a really good option to make a sample board. Vicky says, I'm also a DIYer and can fix things. So if it helps shipping to break it down, just feel free to let her know. We're gonna leave it exactly the way it is, Vicky. It's going as is, because I don't think it would be any smaller even if we broke it down, so coming at you. I love it that it's getting a new life in another garden. So it's gone from a yard here in Lehigh and I bought it at a yard sale and now it's going to hang out with Vicki. Could you possibly have one of the members that you know personally tag each other and answer each other's questions on Facebook? Um, I could do that and I've also gone on on a few of them and posted where we're at. Um, Facebook did see me doing that and was like, you commented too much in one day. So I can comment. I told you you were going to get blocked page. for spam. Yeah, I got blocked for spam. I just can't comment as Jamie Ray Vintage. Oh, that's cute. So I this like is that. not a paper that we're printing. This is just a print I had. This is a paper you guys can get. What's the one this you one just here. printed? Is that from the... the what? Does that... No, that is the paper, isn't it? No, this one we've done big and little. I haven't actually put it in. It's like a scene in a little English park. Oh. And then this is the hand-painted floral one that also comes with these on the side. We have this in the 20 by 30 tissue paper and also in the rice paper size. And it has been very popular in the rice paper size too. Here is my finished project. I'll buff it later. I got three all the way done. Let's and you see. got you got the little tray done. Those are done. That's done. We're knocking things out here. Yep. I'm gonna go get my black clocks right now. Put a little wax on my hand. Okay. 
I'm gonna heat. Oh, and this. my green clock. Thank you, Caitlin's dropping the link to decoupage paper, rice, and then we have the larger paper, and it's twenty. Is it twenty by thirty? I am correct on that. So I'm going to put an IOD transfer on each side and then distress this. Do you have any ideas for upcycling metal wine bottle holders? Yeah, you can use them for rolling pins. So if you need a rolling pin display, paint them up and put a bunch of cute rolling pins in there. That's what I love to do with wine bottle holders. You could also do like a bunch of pots in them if you can find the right size and do like a hanging garden. But I think rolling pins works really well. Was a square tin just painted with white and waxed? Yes. So that big square tin was already dark, chippy gray underneath, just kind of underwhelming. So I just put two coats of white swan, wet distress, clear wax, and it's done. I could dark wax it if I wanted to, but all the dark peeking through the layers looks good. So I'm just going to leave it as is. Uh, Mel's, I do sell these shorts. Um, I think they only go up to an XL, but I reordered and I found some in plus size. So if we don't have your size, we'll get more. Caitlin, if you're on, can you drop the link to these biker shorts? I live in biker shorts, so we sell them because I love them. <laughs> All right. Oh, I got a few spots in here. All right. So this was like a fun green teal, almost apothecary color underneath, like a good blue green. But that it had some distressing. bad distressing on it. And so I wanted to tone that back. I just went with the black. And now I'm bringing some of that green back through. And then I'm going to wax it. And this will be done. It doesn't need anything else other than the one coat of paint. Because it was a good base color. Back to my ephemeral melange transfer. I need to go get a brocant so I can mix it up transfer-wise. Can I have those scissors next to you? Yep. How do you say we want the frame with the floral when we order? Um, we, I don't know if, when, when I update the photos, I'll probably separate them out by what they are. But if they're both still available when you order, just email info at jamierayvintage.com and let us know you want that one. And if you're the first one to order, then you get preference. Or you can wait and I will update the photos of whatever hasn't sold and I'll change them with variants. So that way you can pick which one you want. Uh, do your biker shorts have any compression? I need to know. I wouldn't say so. These are pretty soft and comfy. They would hold me in a little better if they had compression, but these ones, not so much. Do you have the clear wax? Um, yeah. Susan says men and their toys. Bulldozer. Did, were you just talking about a bulldozer? A while back I was. Oh, I was like, she I thought... might, she might be a little. Oh yeah, that's probably true. Um, but yeah, you know, sometimes you got to make roads. Zeb always has a reason for a new toy. Okay, I'm trying to decide. I wouldn't buy one. I'd rent it for a few days. Yeah, we're not. Because once I'm done with that one job, I really don't have a call for a bulldozer. He's not a full-blown construction worker yet. I don't, I don't have an excavation company. He has a one-ton truck, so he's always trying to find reasons for that. All right, I'm going to use this one on one side, and then I'm going to use a similar one on the other side, but smaller. And my little tote here. I guys, just got this and I've almost blown through the entire transfer. That transfer is really good, works on a lot of things. If you guys every now and then you'll see me squeezing this brush out, sometimes the clear wax will pick up, especially with the DIY paint, it can be dusty a little bit because it's so porous and clay. Um, you'll see me squeeze out the wax out of my brush and that gets it back to my clear and keeps it from being getting pink on my green here, which would probably just make a gross brown. <clears throat> now I'm just gonna wipe that back a little bit. You can wait for it to dry, but this is kind of rough. It's got like a really rough texture, even more rough than salt wash, almost, almost like, a, like sand on it. Um, so I'm going to wipe this back before it dries because I don't know that it'll all come back. Vicki, did you buy this tote or did you buy that little box over there? She said I could use all the little scraps on her box. I'm probably just going to use, I don't know, because this doesn't have anything long and skinny. 
I, I was actually thinking if I have the um, IOD transfer that has the twall, that that would be really cute in the inset of that. I'm going to go look. I have that. This is the point in the live stream where I shouldn't be washing glass because everywhere I touch it, I get paint or wax on, well, the, wash your hands on the glass. <laughs> it's okay. We'll, we'll get it. Now I just need a dry paper okay, towel. So we've got this transfer on this side. And then I'm just going to do this one on the other side. Once you get the edge of these square transfers up, you usually can just pop it off. You don't have to do the whole thing. You ride the wave. Careful not to put your clocks back together upside down. Oh, I'm going to have to. I didn't realize there was more pink. I'm going to have to put more pink on this edge. I can see the speckle coming through the side. So I might not distress this right away, but oh, eventually this will get distressed. That's good and moody now. Let me bring it close. We don't do a lot of black, like all black and distress back to. We use this as an accent color more, but I feel like this worked on this to hide that bad distress. Who makes a DIY paint? It's made in New Mexico and owned by Debbie Beard from uh, Debbie's Design Diary. And then they also make, if you've heard us talk of our cottage color paint, it's made by DIY paint. They make cottage color. Three new colors coming yep. very soon. We actually have them right over there to play with before the launch. So I'm excited about that. Uh, Grits and Grace Vintage Shelly says Moody gets her every time. She loves that. Oh, Vicky just says I can just send it with her other stuff. Gotcha. I always wind up using it. I always find somewhere to I use it. I like where you're at, though, Vicky. She's like, don't let it go to waste. Leslie says, nice clock. Thank oh, you, you. You forgot to paint that one side completely. What one side? Right there on the bottom. Um. Yeah. It's not just a lot of distress. It's just not painted. Okay. Jana says, thanks for signing her Lazy Susan she bought from us. You're welcome. It, Everyone it, always complains about my signature. I don't even know what that says. Nobody ever complains about it. Who has ever complained about it? Someone was like, that's your signature? It doesn't look like anything. <laughs> Mine too. Mine's a swoopy swoopy. That's how you know it's me. I've got, oh, this one would be pretty. Let's see if I can fit most of it on there. Nope, that's too big for that. I'm going to just do two more of these little seed packages on here. And then I'll, re this inside needs a second coat, but that can dry well the, after I put these on there. Where's my little stick? I don't know. I love, I mean, I'm glad they're not colored because I feel like that would transfer, but the clear sticks get lost. Anybody else lose their IOD transfer sticks? Well, they used to be black wood. Yeah. And they break. Yeah, they're way better now that they don't break, but I lose them. We don't have white wax out, do we? I haven't white waxed anything, so nope. Leslie says it sounds like their problem and not yours if they don't like your signature. 
<laughs> that is a true story. Well, it's it's basically like a, a Z and an R. And I just do lines afterwards. It's very, very simple. Lines very a fast. J and an R and a, a lot of shroopies. All right, I'm just repainting the inside of this because it looks weird. I guess if somebody was going to put water in here, they probably aren't now. It's for decor. And I missed a few spots here. It's like, I, I think I'm done. And then I start finding all the imperfections. I'm using petticoat pink, Tegan. It's so very really, close to first crush. It's a really good nothing. soft pink. So I'm going to see if we have those sheep. Which sheep? The little one? The sheep in the sheep transfer. I don't oh. even know if they still make it. I know it was on a uh, discontinue and we had it on sale. The twall. It's the English twall. Caitlin, do we still have more of these? I don't know. <laughs> I realized I was just making a face just now. I was uh, concentrating. Yeah, I was. Jack and I were working, and I was putting together a uh, pressure seated uh, coupler. And I was pushing pretty hard, and apparently I was making a face. He's like, Dad, why are you making a face like that? That's funny. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, do you have to make that face when you, when you push those together? Because apparently I was doing it on every one. Try to think. I'm like, I'm getting older. I'm straining. <laughs> I've clearly used this one before, so... I love the grid system. It is super helpful to cut it to fit. So we're working with this was like a silvery metal color before that had some distress on it. And I feel like we I worked with that a little bit went with the black and the gray or the black and the white. And now we've got a gray. But it's less shiny silver. Like it was, it was like a bad shiny in places. At least I thought it was bad. I didn't like it. Sorry, I'm concentrating. Are you making a face? Uh, nope. I'm just concentrating. So I'm being very quiet. Not a normal. My dad, when he's working on cars, he always he like bites his tongue. I'm like, Dad, what are you doing? Well, I'm trying to inset this in here, and it's not square, so I have to try to not get it where I don't want it. So, to you guys, when I'm done. And I had to be cautious about what I picked because you can't just pick any part of the transfer. I want it to look like a little scene here. And I'm probably not. Oh, there we're back. We're back. Can you see us? That means it's like time for us to it go. It says frozen, stay on. They should be back. Caitlin, are we back on your end? It's showing us okay, back Okay, Caitlin live. can see us now. I don't yeah. know what happened to the screen. I don't know either. I've never seen it do that before. It means we've been on too long. It's time to go. Yeah, well, we're almost there. I told you one o'clock, so we got eight minutes. I need technology to be my friend for eight more minutes. This takes a little bit longer to put transfers with this kind of detail on. Oops, that's not where I want it. So I'm going to scrape that off. Crud. All right, it's all right. I'll fix that. Okay. So I have this little part here where I don't want it. So I'm going to try to scrape it off. And if it scrapes the paint off, I'll just, I'll just repaint it. There we go. All right, so this is going to look a little weird because I have some fresh paint, so it's going to look a little splotchy, but you'll get the idea of what I'm doing here. 
All right, so I came back with the clear wax because I got some streakiness, and this will help even that white wax. Ooh, dip See, in the white. Da. A little scene. So if we have any more English twall transfers, definitely scoop those up because they've been retired and they are in our sale collection. Caitlin, do you, can you look and see if we have the English wall? Just can't remember if we do or not. They are still available and she posted the link. Sweet. Nice. It's one of my favorites. So I was pretty sad when they decided not to carry it. Now I got to cut this other side. We actually have a bunch of stuff on sale. We have the sale collection, um, which the IOD stuff will be in there. And then we the have- The IOD stuff that's been retired. Yeah, the there. retired IOD stuff. Um, and then we have the Mother's Day sale going on. Like there's a lot of fun things going on on the website right now. Thank you. It's normally $36.95 and it's on sale for $31.40. And there's, it comes with, a, let me see how many pages they come with. I don't even know. It comes with a lot of pages. Eight, eight pages. So you can use it on a big piece like a dresser or you can use it like I'm doing and just cut little pieces out. So what I like to do, like this has a little ledge and I like to rub my stick along the edge. Oops. So I can get just what I want on there. Sometimes it doesn't work. Like in this case, I've got a little bit over and I'll just sand that off. out of whitewash I'm gonna have to make some more I feel like twall is one of those timeless decor items it's been around for a million years it's gonna be around for a million more okay this one I really got out of lines here so I'm going to get my sandpaper out where did I put that up see if I can sand off the there we go Okay, so this is this is sandy blonde salt wash on top of a black plastic clock. And then I did aviary in a wash, which is how we got kind of like that toned back green, that sagey green. And now this is white swan in a wash over the aviary. I'm going to go set this out to dry. Then I'm going to bring some of that green and some of that sandy blonde back. And we may even get to the black clock face and then I'll put it together and we'll be done. All right, can you set this outside to dry too? Yep. Let me just show them real quick. That's the other side. And I'm gonna let, set this out to dry all the way, then I can just distress and wax that. Okay, what else do I need to do here? I think I've done everything I've been doing, <clears> I finished. Oh, I've got, I've got that urn, but that's staying till tomorrow. You know what, can you bring that back for me? Do you need it back? Because I'm done with everything. I don't want to start something new, so I'm just going to heat gun it so I can finish that. Let me clean up my transfer scraps here. Twelve design, true that. Yep, it is. It's timeless. I love it. And you can totally make it more like boho and and moody if you put it over a dark color. Like, how gorgeous would this be over salty kiss or? Um, what's the forest green color? Monet's garden. You can change the vibe pretty easy. And Caitlin did drop the link to this transfer again if you're wanting it. I kind of want to scoop up a few just for my personal collection. Although I don't like to use stuff after I can't sell it anymore because if I use it in a video, people are like, why can't I buy that? And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. It's retired. Okay. 
I just got a heat gun. This where I touched it up a little. You can seal before you put your transfer on, but then make sure you let it dry all the way. It does adhere easier to a slick surface. Just keep that in mind. I kind of did it backwards, but that's how I roll. All right, I'm gonna rinse this out. I'm gonna wet distress this okay, and I'll be ready for wax. Do not heat gun the actual transfer. That would be bad. Did you have the sandpaper over there? I have some right there by my white paint. Oh, I see it. Are you gonna paint your... No, I don't think I'm gonna quite get it painted. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to show them the just repair. sanding the repair. See how that's, once it's dry, it sands up real nice. Just light. You don't want to go super aggressive. It's air dry clay. So I'm just wet distressing the paint, not the transfer. Oh, it's still wet in a little, a couple spots. But that's a shape I like now. It goes with the rest of the lip. And this is, this is like, this is handmade. Like this is not uniform. So it's got ups and downs. So this was cracked in half, had a big chip out of it. We'll paint this up, brighten it up, I think on this one. And I'm just, uh heat gunning where I wet distressed and then I can clear wax this and this little project will be finished. So that's sanded now and